Hey guys, welcome to Clearwater Beach. Howdy, howdy, everyone. Yes, I'm R.J. Smith, the best-selling author, Hollywood screenwriter, but I'm also a criminologist and body language expert. That's why I decided I want to do a podcast to show you the craziest news coming out from news sources. Now, network news doesn't show you the really good stuff. I will. Here at Crazy News Reacts, I scour news sources for the weirdest, most unbelievable, but craziest news. So I'd like to invite you to join this great community I'm building of news junkies where you will see many things the fake news will not show you. And hopefully, along the way, we'll learn a lot and dissect the horrors while discussing crazy news of the day with logic, common sense, and truth. Hit that like button right now down below, right there. Hit the like button because then it will be this video will be shown to more people. You know, I'll wait. Go ahead. See? Wasn't that easy? And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that and share it with your family so we can build this community a lot quicker. But those likes and subscribes are very important. Today, I have what I believe to be one of the wildest, most dangerous police pursuits thus far in 2024. This happened out in Washington State by the Kings County Sheriff's Office. And along the way, these boneheads committed not one, but two carjackings, all while being filmed by the helicopter, our eye in the sky. So come along as we watch this takedown of armed suspects living their last day on the outside of prison. Here we go. On 100th Avenue, it just passed South 244th. I think this might be it. Yeah, you smell on 100th from 244th. Is it the SUV escalator or the pickup? Like an avalanche? Negative, it's the uh, SUV escalate, and he just turned westbound. I'll get you a street here in a second. It looks like 248, maybe. 246, and now going back northbound on 98th Ave South. Looks like he is trying to run away. 15 p 5 monitoring. I mean, well, we're not going to get in pursuit with it. Captain, we'll not pursue. K4, K96, we're coming down the hill now. We're at 98. Still westbound passing Woodford. And turning into the shell station at the corner of James and Central. At the pumps, at the uh, second row from the south. At the gas station, the shell station. Yeah, 5 5 3 please. Yeah, it's at the pumps at the shell station. All right, Guardy One looks like a driver was a heavy set Hispanic male in a gray T-shirt with a backwards baseball cap. He went into the store. Forty nine sixty was arriving. Forty nine ninety six, copy arriving at the shell. Coming back out to the car, getting in the car right now. And the car's taken off on him. And he is gone. Wow, you know, you really can't get away. Now, these boneheads have to know that the eye in the sky is going to follow them wherever they might go. So running really isn't something to do here. There's there's no way for them to outrun a helicopter. Let's go on and see what these boneheads do. We're trying to be searched to keep these those warrants. Passing traffic in the center turn lane, going into oncoming lanes now at South uh, 108, 208. And he's been involved in a collision at the intersection and continuing eastbound. Traffic collision at 208 and 108, and he's continuing eastbound. Uh, he hit a uh, large white work van. Still continuing eastbound. He's turning north on 120th half southeast. Traffic north on 120th. Uh, Guardy One, looks like it's a uh, pretty cool. Guardy One, looks like a dead end complex. If we can get some of my units in this area, we can block it off. Out of the neighborhoods, about uh, 122nd. Be 124 and 204. 
two, six, if you haven't started, uh, fire, can you start them, and then can you start with one tow? Copy, fire, and tow to the collision of 2 and one eight. Northbound on, uh, 124th, passing 201st. Copy, northbound on 124th. It says KT5, can you let County know? One six. you are going to play when ready. At uh, South 192 and 124th, they've getting out of the car. Oh, oh, like here we go. Carjacking. What's going on here now? Another, Another attempted carjacking, folks. Look at this. Assault and battery. Um, this is going to be another kidnapping. This is going to be an armed assault. Definitely. Oh, they got the car. And here they go again now in their second. So you have homicide. You have first carjacking. Confirm that's a Red Explorer at 192 and 124th. Guardy 1 affirmative, uh, eastbound, 192nd. Got the eastbound 192nd, now on the Red Explorer. I'm behind the Escalade, the Escalade is mobile too. Direction for Escalade, through the Escalade. 1545 with the name of that suspect. Okay, now we are eastbound on 192. Guardy 1, we're still eastbound 192. Confirm or we're not in pursuit, right? <laughs> I request permission to pursue the Escalade after the carjacking. Gary one, he's carjacking a second vehicle, fighting with the driver of a blue SUV at 140th and 192. They're fighting in the intersection. He just threw the female out of there. Carjacking, you can pursue. Okay, now we're in front of the car now. This is going to go on forever. You will never, ever see these guys again if they are caught here at the end. These are surface streets, folks. This is neighbor 45, 35 miles an hour. And if you look up in the corner, they're going 60, 70, 80. Uh, they're just... Wow. I don't know what to say about it. This is just absolutely incredible. Now, they are trying to set up spike strips. If you've watched live TV or, uh, you know, cops, you know, the co you know that they have spike strips that they can put out in front of the vehicle so that when the vehicle runs over it, the tires pop, and that's it. The car is going to come to a stop, and they'll make an arrest. The problem with spike strips is they have to get up far enough in front of them so that they can close the road down, and then when that car comes by, they have to quickly pull the strips, hoping to get the tires. But there's nothing that these guys are not going to do now to catch these carjackers. This is a violent felony. It just takes a second for a car to come out in front of it or people to walk out in front of it. Luckily, it is here on a rural road now with the huge pine trees, which, you know, Washington is famous for. You see all that white there? That is an infrared camera and it is picking up the heat on the car. Those tires are red hot. Holy moly. This has got to be the worst one I've seen so far this year, folks. They're in a residential area doing 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour. Lord have mercy. Absolute insanity, folks. There's no reason for this. Guardian, we need location. We lost him. He's northbound 148, coming out back out of the neighborhood, running north, still northbound 148. Okay, now the mountain He's turning eastbound on 244, eastbound 244. Passing the Seuss Creek Trail, still eastbound. Eastbound, coming to 156, and he's turning, going straight through 156, eastbound. Was that eastbound 256? Eastbound 240, passing 156, now 158. Okay, the eastbound 240 is passing 156. Get you in eastbound, passing 164. Affirm, he's on 240th now. Affirm, southeast 240th, eastbound, passing 170. Alright, there's a couple of us parallel on 256, just let us know if he turns. He just turned northbound on 172nd, northbound 172nd. We're going to try to get spikes before he gets up here to us. Eastbound, we're going to pop out on 224th. Still northbound, coming to 232. We'll be approaching 224th, we'll let you know which way he goes. Eastbound, 224. Eastbound, passing 176. Yep, no answer. David's out. Um, we're going to head back to you guys. Turning northbound on uh, Peter Grove Road. Coming northbound, Peter Grove Road. All right, what's like a blue Subaru wagon, do we believe? They turned on to 184 north south. That's season the third, third vehicle of many at this point. So the one he's currently in that, that we're pursuing is a blue Subaru. He's originally in an Escalade. 
and then carjacked a uh, red Explorer and then carjacked this uh, Subaru uh, that he's in now. East, going northbound, 184. You guys just passing me shut down. Coming to Lake Young's Road and going eastbound on Lake Young's Road. Passing cars in the oncoming lanes through curves, still eastbound. Northbound on southeast, or 196F southeast from southeast Lake Young's. Eastbound on the Petrovitsky, went into oncoming lanes to turn. Jeffy westbound on Petro. Eastbound on Petro. Uh, do we have any camp units remotely close? If not, we can just start blocking off intersections and see if he'll come through and get spikes. Yeah, 2 5, I'm pretty close. 2 4, you're 196. I agree, this going on, not on 180. Right, eastbound, Petrovitsky, passing cars in the oncoming lanes. Then will eventually dump out to Highway 18. You need to stop this on the Looks like I went the uh, rolled over now. Escalade. About 200 and 148. G-87, Captain with the Escalade, 200, 148. Suspect still eastbound, Petrovitsky, passing 220. Yeah, Suspect 25, we're going to be done. The areas can just hover in the area and uh, lay spikes. These circles back around, guardian like can continue to fall. 5231 to guardian one. We have unmarked detectives coming out in surveillance cars. If you can stay on, we can watch on uh, once we get out there. Guardian one just had a traffic collision at uh, Petrovitsky at 231st. So far, still hasn't gotten on a car. We've got some county units on it. So here we go, folks. They are caught after two carjackings, a homicide, a robbery, hit and run, leaving the scene of an accident. They are now being pulled from that car at gunpoint. They just make one wrong move here. We've all seen it before. I've shown the videos before. Those guys are toast and they'd be dead. And I got to tell you, when they go before court, this video will be shown. If they go to trial, it'll be shown. They're about to take this, guy into custody. this is what we call dead and stinking. And the thinking here has to be criminal. Well, thanks guys for hanging out. Hit that like and hit that subscribe. And uh, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow. We want it.